All right, and for our final section, I thought we would get some practice identifying fractions that are greater than one whole. So that's why you'll see it's called mixed fractions practice. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna click the link here. As always, it will open it in a new tab. So all of your responses should be saved. Don't worry. If you do see the thing that pops up about Flash Player, you should just be able to click and have it run Flash Player. All right, so it says matching mixed fractions. You're gonna click start. It says match the fractions to the correct answer as fast as you can. The faster you match, the higher your score. So it's very similar to the fractions matching game, but now we see that it has a combination of fractions that are greater than or less than one whole. So most of them are gonna be greater than one whole because I did want us to get practice. So let's look at this one for example. I see that this is one two pieces in one whole. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so we can see it even better. There we go. So I'm looking at this one right here. I see that there is one, two pieces, one, two pieces, one, two pieces. These are broken into halves. I see that there is one whole, two holes. So I know this is gonna be two and one out of two, so one half. So I'm gonna look for two and one half. Boom, boom, nailed it. All right, let's do another one as an example. So maybe let's look at this guy over here. I see that there is one, two, three whole circles. So I know I'm gonna be looking for three holes. It looks like here's one of my answer choices. Here's one of my answer choices. These both have three holes. Now I need to see how many are these, how much is actually the circle broken up into? How many pieces in the hole? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I know these are eighths. I know that one, two, three of them are shaded. So this is gonna be three and three eighths, which matches uh, this guy. Boom. So you're just gonna practice that. It might take you a little bit, no biggie, but we know that practice makes perfect and this is a really fun way. If you get one wrong, so say for example, I get tricks and I'm like, oh, I see two here, that must be two thirds. They'll be like, uh oh, nope, and cross them out for you. So this is our practice for this. Make sure you play for like five or six minutes and then go back to your form and solve the questions here. Once you're done solving this, you'll click submit, which should submit it to Google Classroom. If you wanna keep playing these games, they'll stay up in the tabs up here so you can totally keep playing them. Or if you wanted to play the games, when you click submit, you'll see that you can click over here and go to edit your response. So it'll go back, it'll take you back to your form. You obviously don't need to change any of the information you put in, so you'll just click through. So I'm back to the fractions practice game, so you can still get the link. So you can just click through, and then you would scroll down, you'd click through, and you can still play the games. Hope you have fun playing these review games, and let me know if you have any issues. If you're unable to play the games because of a Flash player issue, um, go ahead and try to go to office hours, and Mr. Cody or Ms. Hendricks might be able to help you out. But really, you can also still get the same practice from doing these practice problems. These are just some more fun ways to do it. All right, happy solving.